Hi, Mark Gordon. On Tuesday, uh, December the 6th, uh, 2011, at about noon Pacific time, uh, with the gold, silver, and spider report, uh, this is the GLD, up about a half a percent right now, um, getting a nice bounce here off of this blue line, the 50-day moving average. A nice support down there. We were uh, actually uh, in the red um, uh, this morning and now have come back up for a slight gain here getting above this green dotted line which is the 100 day moving average so uh, fighting a battle here uh, in this flag formation which you can see tightening down here so we're going to have a resolution uh, of course either to the downside or upside we'll have to see um, uh, but uh, looking good here in this sideways consolidation uh, on low volume is what you want to see so we're just kind of biding our time here with an upside bias here in gold we do have some important meetings coming up we have the um, uh, the uh, Federal Open Market Committee meeting and also uh, the European banks are meeting uh, this week to set policy. So a uh, lot of gold uh, buyers uh, in uh, on the sidelines here waiting this out. But uh, I see this as a very constructive consolidation period right here for gold. And going now to a weekly chart of the GLD, uh, we can see that we're still in this channel here that we've been in here uh, for about a year and a half now and um, had come up here uh, to the upper end of the channel uh, here in early November and pulled back. Didn't quite get down all the way down to the lower channel like we did uh, earlier in October and September. Uh, but uh, uh, certainly uh, an impressive uh, uh, stalling pattern here uh, above the 10-week moving average and sitting right now on the 20-week moving average. Uh, so still uh, in this uptrend here. And when we go to a monthly chart, we can see the trend uh, that has been in place uh, for quite a long time here. If we use this uh, blue line here, which is the 10-month moving average, you can see that we've been respecting this month after month after month. Um, all the way since uh, early 2009. So uh, this is sort of a bigger trend here that's in place. A pullback uh, to there would take us down to about the $1,632 range. But right now, for the last several months, kind of in a sideways stalling action after, of course, a big reversal here uh, during the summertime. Uh, to go down and test this average after hitting new highs here. Now, if you draw a line along the tops, we got way above the upper trend line here, uh, ripe for a correction back down. So uh, the, the longer term uh, uh, trend in gold still well intact. And moving on to silver now, this is the SLV, up uh, almost 3% today. A nice reversal also, um, making a new recent low here and then reversing back up. Uh, above this blue line, uh, the 50-day moving average, and uh, caught just under here, this 21-day uh, moving average here, this red line. And we have formed this sort of upper uh, trend line here, which it's uh, uh, below. So we have another flag pattern here. Uh, silver Biden, it's time uh, sideways. A lot of volatility here in late October, early November, tightening up here. Uh, and this uh, flag formation is tightening as well, suggesting that we are going to have some sort of resolution here soon. Volume uh, has been light the last several weeks uh, as uh, silver consolidates as well. So uh, uh, nice bullish action here on the metals. Uh, sideways action is good in light volume. Shows that uh, buyers and sellers are, are, are reaching an agreement here and uh, we are setting up for the next possible move. Now, of course, on the silver, we are below the key 200-day and 100-day moving averages, uh, which we'll have to get above uh, in order to uh, uh, send more bullishness into this market. But certainly breaking to the upside out of this flag formation would be a very bullish sign. Of course, breaking down would not be so good. So resolution coming here shortly. Now, when we look at a weekly chart of the SLV, uh, we can see uh, this flag formation pattern here. Um, and we can see a possible breakout uh, to the upside, uh, a little bit of bullishness uh, coming in on the weekly chart here. Uh, this is the 10-week moving average, which is now starting to slope up. And we're sitting just above that here. Uh, outside of this uh, uh, upper uh, trend line here. So something to really watch here on the silver. Of course, we are below the 10 and 20 uh, week, I'm sorry, the 20 and 40 week moving averages as well here on silver. So a bit of a, a, a headway coming up uh, if we decide to rally here. But uh, weekly chart to looking a, a bit uh, positive here. Now, if we look at a monthly chart of, uh, this is uh, the actual silver, the metal price, we can see that we've been consolidating here for the last um, several months here. 
um, you can see that this uh, four month moving average here uh, this red line here is providing overhead resistance right now on the monthly chart and then this uh, getting support down here at this green dotted line which is the 20 month moving average which a lot of traders watch a, uh, a monthly close below that line suggests that uh, silver might be entering a bear market so uh, down here, kind of testing support down here at the key 20-month moving average, which a lot of long-term traders look at. Now, we have not closed below that since early 2009 back here. So something to watch on the silver. So sideways action on the monthly chart. You'll notice that volume has been tapering off as silver has been correcting. Notice the rising volume here as silver made its big run uh, uh, late in 2010. And then uh, you can see the declining volume as it peaked and is pulling back. So uh, silver uh, biding its time on the monthly chart as well. And uh, taking a look at stocks now, this is the uh, SPY, the S&P 500, and uh, up about uh, six tenths of a percent today. And interestingly enough, sitting right here at the upper trend line that I've drawn across the tops here since the summertime. Um, uh, interesting place that we are stalling here, up above the 200 day moving average, this black dotted line, and certainly above the green dotted line, the 100 day moving average. Another positive thing is that the 50 day moving average, the blue line, has now crossed over the 100 day. A bullish move. A lot of traders look at that. Um, I would expect some, some uh, consolidation here uh, at this upper trend line here. Maybe a retest uh, down here uh, to the 50 day moving average, which is currently at 121.68 and rising. Uh, volume has, uh, uh, we had a couple good, uh, uh, strong volume days, a couple gap ups here in price, big move up off the bottom here, and uh, testing uh, this, uh, well, actually making this new lower trend line here. And uh, of course, falling below the 50 day moving average, now rallying back up solidly to close above all the key moving averages. Yesterday, we will probably get another close above uh, uh, this uh, 200 day moving average today. So uh, uh, stocks making a big move uh, up to the upper end of, uh, of the trading range. Uh, let's see if we can break to the upside. If we do, our next resistance will come in at this gray line here, this upper Bollinger Band here, which is currently at about $130. So um, uh, stocks uh, consolidating uh, for the last several days after a big move. And when we take a look at a weekly chart of the SPY, we can see this upper uh, uh, trend line uh, more clearly, and we can see this uh, uh, flag formation uh, clearer. We are uh, clearly at the upper end of the trading range, and um, after testing uh, down here uh, just uh, several weeks ago, so um, uh, this is a point where we get we probably get a consolidation here on the uh, on the S and P 500, uh, possibly a pullback to retest uh, somewhere in this area. If we break to the upside, uh, then the uh, next uh, point of resistance will be in the $130 range. So um, stocks uh, having a big move and now uh, ripe for a period of consolidation. So just to recap, gold and silver are consolidating in a sideways move with a bias to the upside. And stocks have made a big move uh, and are now at the upper end of a uh, trading range. And um, uh, so ripe for a possible consolidation here of some sort. So thanks for watching and good luck trading everybody.